We are at Sela's place today and she seems to be reading something with a lot of attention. Let's see what is she reading. Oh, Sela is reading the newspaper. Hey Sela, what is so interesting in that newspaper? There were 15,438 people living in Sela city. This year, 10,356 more people came to live from the neighboring city. Hey Sela, that's great. But what is worrying you? The newspaper does not tell how many people currently live in Sela city. Don't worry Sela, we will help you find that. We know that the number of people staying in Sela city last year was 15,438. This year, 10,356 more people came from the neighboring city. To find the total number of people living in Sela city, we have to add 15,438 with 10,356. So, Let's write the two numbers in a table as shown. We always begin by adding the digits in the units column. We add 8 and 6 to get 14. We place the 4 of 14 in the units place of the answer and then carry over the 1 to the tens column. We now add the carry over 1 to the digits in the tens column to get 9. Next, we add the digits in the hundreds column. So, adding 4 and 3, we get 7. Then, we add 5 and 0 in the thousands column to get 5. Finally, we add the 1 and 1 in the ten thousands column to get 2. So, adding 15,438 and 10,356, we get 25,794. We can check the answer of our addition by using estimation. To get the estimated values, we round off 15,438 and 10,356 to their nearest numbers. We get 15,000 and 10,000. Adding the two numbers, we get the estimated answer as 25,000. Since this estimated value is close to the actual answer, which is 25,794, our addition is correct. So, the total number of people living in Sela city is 25,794. What else is interesting in the newspaper seller? Last year, there were 234,156 people living in Sela state. This year, 355,744 more people came in from the neighboring state. Sela wants to know how many people are living in her state altogether. That's easy, Sela. All we have to do is add 234,156 and 355,744 to get the total number of people in your state. As we know, we start adding the units first. So, 6 plus 4 is equal to 10. We put the 0 in the units column of the answer and carry over 1 in the tens column of the sum. We now add the 1 to digits in the tens place. So, we add 1 to 5 and 4 and get 10 as the answer. We then put the 0 in the tens column and carry over 1 to the hundreds column. Adding the digits in the hundreds column, we get 9. Next, we add the digits in the thousands column. 4 plus 5 gives us 9. 
Adding 3 and 5 in the 10,000s column, we get 8. We now add 2 and 3 in the 100,000s column to get 5. Now, what do we do to check the answer? Yes, we compare this value with the estimated value. Rounding off 234,156 and 355,744 to the nearest numbers, we get 234,000 and 356,000. Adding the estimated values, we get 590,000. Since this value is close to the actual value, our answer is correct. So seller, there are 589,900 people living in your state. In the blanks with the correct numbers by clicking the number on the number pad. Now, let's see what Sam is busy with. Sam is busy comparing the reports of surveys conducted on the average number of vehicles that run every day in Newtown. Let's help Sam with this. Show us the report, Sam. Here's the report of the Survey 1, which was conducted two months ago, and here's the report of Survey 2, which was conducted recently after the social awareness campaign to curb pollution. If we compare the figures with the old report, we can definitely say that the number of motor vehicles has reduced. But by how many? Let's subtract to find out. We always begin by subtracting the digits in the units column. Here, 3 is less than 4. Hence, we need to borrow from the tens column. Borrowing 110 leaves 2 in the tens column. The borrowed 110 gets regrouped to 10 units. So now, there are 10 plus 3 equals 13 units. 13 minus 4 equals 9. Next, we subtract the tens. Since 2 is less than 8, we must borrow from the hundreds. Borrowing 100 leaves 7 in the hundreds column. The borrowed 100 gets regrouped to 10 tens. So, there are now 10 plus 2 equals 12 tens. 12 minus 8 equals 4. Next, we subtract the hundreds. Here, regrouping is not required. 7 minus 5 equals 2. Subtracting the thousands, that is 1 minus 1, we get 0. Next, we must subtract the ten thousands. Since 2 is less than 9, we need to borrow from the hundred thousands. Borrowing 100,000 leaves 1 in the hundred thousands column. The borrowed hundred thousand gets regrouped to 10 ten thousands. So, now there are 10 plus 2 equals 12 ten thousands. 12 minus 9 equals 3. Subtracting the hundred thousands, that is, one minus one, we get zero. Now, in order to check the answer, we compare this value with the estimated value. Rounding off 221,833 and 191,584 to the nearest numbers, we get 222,000 and 192,000. Subtracting the estimated value, we get 30,000. Since the value is close to the actual value, our answer is correct. So, 
the difference obtained by subtracting 191,584 motor vehicles in Survey 1 from 221,833 motor vehicles in Survey 1, we get 30,249. Thus, we can say the number of motor vehicles running in Newtown has been reduced by over 30,000. The people who conducted the campaign to curb pollution definitely need a huge round of applause.